Hey everyone, it's Samantha. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. Today's video is my favorite video to film because it takes place over my favorite week of the year. I go to Wildwood, New Jersey with my mom's side of the family every single summer for a week and we all stay in a condo together and we do beach activities and it's just the most fun and I love bringing you along for it. I think I filmed the past couple of years and made a vlog out of it so I just always intend to continue this tradition because I love this week so much. Myself, my parents, and my grandpa all drive down together so we always stop by dog tooth bar and grill which is a restaurant we love and it's just become tradition to go there first thing and then we head to the kind of like hotel that we stay at which is full of condos and we check into our condo and unpack everything <laughs> as a family stay in the penthouse which is the top floor of the hotel of condos and it has a bunch of bedrooms but if you'd like a more in-depth view of the vacation in general last year's video i did a really fun kind of storytelling way of presenting the vacation so it's way more informative than this video will be so i'll link that down below so you can go check that out if you're interested this video is more of this vacation in particular there's really no other way to explain it other than like coming home like i feel like i'm home in my little beach town. <laughs> mornings my grandpa my cousin and I wake up as the sun is rising and take a morning beach walk and it's just the best feeling to be awake before pretty much the whole island and just look at the ocean and know that you're actually there finally after dreaming about this place for so long throughout the year <laughs> I wanted to give you a book update. This book is giving Mamma Mia vibes, which I love. And at first I was worried that 500 pages, because that's how long this book is, I was worried that would be too long for a romance book. Like that's okay for a fantasy, but like a romance, that's really long. But I genuinely love this story so much that I wish it was longer. I think it might end up being a five star read, which is crazy. But I'm planning to finish this when we go to the beach today. how we know that they're out there. You can only spot them. By the way, I finished Love and Olives and I brought Malibu Rising down here to the beach. Hopefully you can hear me out here, but as I mentioned before, I finished Love and Olives and I brought Malibu Rising with me. I really loved Love and Olives. Like I, I think I'm gonna give it like a 4.5 star. Comparing it to previous books that I have given five stars, I don't think they like belong in the same category, but I loved it so much. It definitely felt like Mamma Mia vibes. She names all of her books Love and Blank. And I found that with Love and Gelato, it was pretty good. It wasn't something like super special that I've never seen before. And with Love and Luck, I didn't like the romance at all because there was no romance. Like it was clear that he was supposed to be her love interest, but it's almost like she never really acted on that. As the writer of the book, I don't know, it was really weird. Um, so I didn't love that one. That was my least favorite. But Love and Olives, the romance definitely came through. And the plot was really good too. Like it was a good balance of the love story and the plot and like the intrigue of the whole like mystery as to like why her dad left because basically the whole premise of the book is that her dad left her to go find the lost city of Atlantis in Greece um, and you learn a lot more of like why he left. Also lots of talk about like being on a film set and like being the director and like the director of photography. So if you're into that, which I definitely am, I make YouTube videos so obviously I was really intrigued by that, I'd recommend it. This book though definitely feels like summer and it's also like very mysterious, like I don't really know what's happening yet. Um, I'm only 
60 pages in. It's about this rich family in the Taylor Jenkins Reid universe, I guess, because all her books are kind of linked together if you've ever read one of them. Mick and June are the parents, and so it follows like their storyline in the past and then the present day storyline with their kids. And their oldest kid, Nina, she always throws this like end of the summer party where like a bunch of other famous people and other famous families are invited. So it's very interesting. And um, we're not at the party yet, but we're getting a lot of really interesting backstory. And I just love reading about rich families. I don't know if that's just like a me thing, but I find them so fascinating. So this has been really fun so far to kind of like live in this world because it feels like it could be in the media today. I think the plan for tonight is to just stay in. A lot of my family is still at the beach so I came up early. Now I think I'm gonna read a little more out here because it finally started to cool down out on this deck. I might just catch up with you tomorrow. I'm gonna go into Cape May with my mom and my grandpa because I usually split my time between the beach with my dad, my aunt, my uncle, my cousins and like shopping and having lunch and all that fun stuff in Cape May with my mom and my grandpa. So I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow. So I'll definitely show you all of that, but that's kind of the update of what's going on. We're gonna head to Cape May today and I don't really know where we're gonna go or what we're gonna do. This is the outfit of the day and we're gonna head out now. by saying that we go into Cape May is we drive over this bridge that kind of separates Wildwood from Cape May because those are like two different towns and we mainly shop near and on Washington Street which is kind of like Cape May's main street. They have a bunch of little boutiques and stores and ice cream shops and restaurants. It is a little bit pricier so I would say from like a more practical outlook on this if you are visiting Wildwood and you need something like shoes I would not recommend going to Washington Street to find those things but um, it's super fun to just walk around and shop a little bit even do some window shopping I went into the bookstore and that was super fun I love visiting there and seeing what they have in stock and then we also went to lunch at another one of our favorite restaurants Lucky Bones <music> to do a little haul for you i only got two things first thing that i got was we went to the bookstore there and i got this book as a gift for rachel because she loves the akatar series specifically a court of silver flames that's her favorite one and she only has the like black cover um and the most popular one is the orange one so i got her the orange cover because i don't know i just remember talking to her about it and i figured this is one of her favorite books she should have in both covers. I knew coming into the trip that I wanted to get another sweatshirt because I love those like oversized crew neck sweatshirts that have like the name of like the beach town that you visit or whatever on them. And I got one that says Kate May last year. It is gray and it has Kate May like written on it in blue. They had these beautiful like embroidered Kate May sweatshirts. Look how cute that is. Can we take a moment? to just appreciate how pretty that is. I'm obsessed with it. If I get anything else this week, I will totally let you know. I would love to finish Malibu Rising. I think that would be like the best way to sort of end the day. It's not the end of the day, it's like midday right now. Um, we just like came back from lunch in Cape May and everything. But I think I might sit outside and finish this. I have like a little less than half left. Then I can maybe start We Were Liars because I was really interested to see which one of these I would prefer. That's why I brought both of them on this trip because I was like, they give similar vibes, both about rich families, both about like secrets and lies. I might even want to write a little bit because I'm writing a book currently about Wildwood. So I think that would be really cool to write it while I'm here. I'm done. This would make the best movie. When I first started this book, I didn't think I was gonna give it five stars. Like I saw all these people giving it five stars and I was like, there's no way I'm gonna give this five stars. Guess what? I think I'm gonna give it five stars. It just has that like five star feeling. Read this book. 
This is my writing view this morning. Look at how beautiful. So while I'm sitting here, I wanted to give you like more of an update regarding Malibu Rising. I filmed my reaction to the ending, which was wild, by the way. Taylor Jenkins Reid, at least in this first book that I've ever read of hers, she has this really interesting like writing style where she like, she'll make you love and then hate and then love the characters to a point where you're not sure what rating you're gonna give it. I really didn't think I was gonna give it five stars until the very end um, and I think that really goes to show how good her writing is that like at the very end you can look back on the rest of the book and it all ties in so nicely to the ending that you're like what did I just read? And I think the only way to truly appreciate her writing is to stick with the entire book. It is way too bright out here to be writing, so I think I'm gonna go inside after writing like one sentence. After I wrote a little bit and then went inside, we headed out to Cape May again and in the Washington Street area, so very, very close to Washington Street, like maybe a couple minutes away walking distance. We always love to head into the West End Garage, which is kind of like a place for local vendors to sell some of their stuff in different stalls. And I find that it's a great place to find gifts for people because you can find pretty much anything there without having to visit a bunch of different stores like Washington Street. And then after that, we headed back to Washington Street and met up with some of our family for lunch at Delaney's, I believe. It's the Irish pub there and we sat outside. And then we decided to get Ben and Jerry's because they have a little store there. And then we went home. We just got back from Cape May and I wanted to show you the other gifts that I got for my friends. The first one is this like little daisy necklace. These like little pink daisies on it. And I got one for myself so we can match, but mine is in white. And then for my other friend, I got these blue earrings, like butterfly earrings, which were so cute. We're also going to see the Barbie movie. It's gonna be my second time watching it. I watched it for the first time in the movie theater with my friends and I'll link that video down below. It was my last vlog that I did. I loved the movie and I wanted to watch it with my mom. And then my cousin mentioned she wanted to watch it and my aunt mentioned she wanted, wa wanted to watch it. So now I'm gonna be going with my mom, my aunt, and all of my cousins. My aunt actually went to Kate May today when we went and had lunch and bought a pink sweatshirt that's like hot pink and it has the Barbie logo. Um, but instead of Barbie, it says Kate May. I also, I packed my Barbie shirt that I wore to the movie. Also, one more thing that I bought for myself. I got these shorts. I am getting ready to go see Barbie, which is exciting. I loved it the first time, but I feel like it's one of those movies that you have to watch multiple times in order to fully like understand it and appreciate it. I say that this is like a really quick and easy hairstyle and then it takes me like an hour to do. These braids literally took me so much time. I had to cut the camera. my necklace the new daisy one i'm really glad i got the white one i like a bunch of colors but i like the white because it can go with anything
ready right now to head out to dinner um and i'll bring you with me i don't really have much time to talk but i just did my hair this is what i'm wearing it's like a romper dress and it's my first time wearing it um and i'm very excited so i'll talk to you later Every year, we always dedicate one night in particular to going out to a sort of fancy restaurant, and we get a little bit dressed up and take some family pictures. We've been going for the past couple of years to a restaurant in the very beginning of the Cape May area, once you cross that bridge that you drive over, called Secundo, and we really like it. I think if you're looking for a really great place to have dinner, if you want to sit outside and you want the atmosphere to be very aesthetic, beachy, then this is a great option. And then the next morning, we went on another walk because we do that pretty much every morning as I mentioned before. My mom and I headed over to Ulta and then we picked up my cousin, my grandpa, and my dad and went to Duffer's again, but this time we had lunch as well as ice cream. So I figured you might want to come along with me. Um, this is my outfit. I'm getting ready for Cousins Night, which is something new. We've never really done this before. I mean, last year we went to the boardwalk, just all the cousins. But it was not a lot of time because we found out that the rides only open at 5. So we're going to do that differently this time. It's all the cousins and we're going to go to the boardwalk and then maybe out to dinner. And it should be really fun because I haven't been to the boardwalk and done rides in years so get ready with me i also wanted to show you what i got at ulta today because i think i filmed a few clips from there my mom and i went into ulta and got a couple things and i don't usually get things when we go into makeup stores this is what i got at the store it's this like contour stick this could be a terrible idea but um that's what it looks like that's really cool Okay, I did third on each side. I think I have all the time in the world when I'm getting ready, and then as soon as I'm like actually getting ready, I'm like, this is ridiculous. You do not have this time. You are making that up in your brain. I definitely feel like I'm in the summer to pretty because cousins night, boardwalk. I will see you at the boardwalk. All right, Abby Gilbert, we're going to call this week lucky number one last time. If we don't have a match, we're going to play closest to it without going over.
this is probably going to be the last haul of the trip because we leave tomorrow morning unfortunately um but tonight my cousins are making dinner so that should be fun i'll bring you along for that and then i think we're gonna have like a game night because usually when we're here every single night we play at least one game um and we all bring games and it's really fun but we've only done it one night this trip which i don't really know why first thing that i got today was this bracelet which i think is so pretty i want to put it on now actually and i really like that i think that's really pretty and it matches now i have a lot of bracelets on my arms anyway okay so that was the main thing that i got and then i wanted to sh also show you food wise for i guess like the drive home when we get home or whatever we actually went and we got macarons so unfortunately if you remember my last vlog from last trip we had this business in wildwood that we loved it was the pretty tasty cupcake boutique and she actually unfortunately closed this year so um she only does them through instagram for special occasions but the business that took over her little store area um was kate may macarons vanilla chocolate birthday cake and brownie cheesecake i'm most excited about these two but i also wanted to get the chocolate and vanilla just to see how they compare to other macarons that i've had chocolate cover covered oreos we went into like the little candy shop non pareils dark chocolate covered pretzels i'll put a few clips in here and then i'll do the outro so that i don't have to do when i get home <laughs> much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i tried to film this vlog kind of like an episode of a summer show like the summer i turned pretty or something or like a movie so kind of like cinematically i had the best time and i hope you enjoyed and i will definitely be making another one next year when we come um they're always so fun they're my favorite videos to film for sure don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I don't know comment tell me what you liked about this video if you'd like to see more of these comment down below as well thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one